All right, we just, uh, I'm not gonna say fix the bin. We, from that big windstorm when it blew over on the shed. And so now, believe it or not, we're gonna put anchors in. So these anchors are from UFA. And I looked this morning, couldn't get on the website. I think they're 36 inches, I think. However long, they got a good sized helix on them. Then Alex made this adapter. We took the um, the auger, the dirt auger off. And then we had to make like a double collar to get it all built to the right size. So all we need, I'm gonna stop the video so I can hook this up. We basically hook that in there, put the pin through it. And then I'll show you as we're turning it in. It works really good. Okay, I just went and got the uh, tripod. So tech tip, don't use your gloves if they have any grip. Because if you bind up on this thing, it will rip your wrist right off. So it is, again, safety first. This is a, a little unfortunate. Um, but that part is the best we can do. So if we just hold this straight, okay, start. The tractor's at a dead idle. So it's not too fast. Okay, and then once it starts, it basically just pulls it down. So we're using these anchors to hold the bins down, but you could use them for corner braces, on fence lines, like so much. And, and these post hole augers are relatively cheap. And these things, they hold a lot. So super impressed. Hopefully to decide the collar thing. Stop. So now the only thing is if we went too far, we have a big pipe wrench and we can back this up. Uh, so just go down. Pop it out, pop it up. It's that simple, ready to rock and roll. Hopefully that'll work for somebody out there. Like I said, for especially fence lines when your corner braces come to pop out or something. So take care.